Hi, this is Father Michael Dank from Holy Family Parish in Stowe, but always my real Holy Family, my home is Holy Family Parish in Parma, where I was born and raised, so I'm a son of the parish. I was baptized at Holy Family on June 24th, 1979, which is the Feast of John the Baptist, which is a pretty cool day to be baptized. I have um, such wonderful memories of growing up at Holy Family. Father Costello was the pastor when I was uh, from from the time I was a child. Um, I remember um, Father Heron would come over to the grade school and read us books in the grade school. That was always fun. Father uh, Ireland was a, a big friend and a big support all the way through the seminary. Really encouraged my vocation uh, at Holy Family. And um, uh, when I was ordained, Father Masick was the pastor. So I was ordained May 12th of 2007, and that will always be a, a wonderful memory for me. I celebrated my first Mass at Holy Family on May 13th, and it was just a, a wonderful celebration. I am eternally grateful to uh, the nuns as well that taught us at Holy Family. Sister Mary Ann was the principal, and Sister Mary Ann, when I was newly ordained, I began saying Mass at, at the convent in Bedford, and little did I know, but Sister was there. After my first Mass, I thanked all the nuns, the Vincentian nuns were the nuns that taught us. When I was done with Mass, I thanked them. I said, Sisters, thank you for my vocation. This is like a Mass of Thanksgiving for, for the Vincentians who, who raised me. And I said, it's because of you that my vocation was here. And at the end of the Mass, they said, Father, we, we want to introduce you to somebody very special. And they said, it's Sister Mary Ann, your principal. And my face kind of flushed because I was a little bit afraid of Sister Marianne when I was in grade school because I spent some time in the principal's office. But she came up to me and she gave me a big hug, wrapped her arms around me, and she said, Father Michael, I am so proud of you and I love you so much. And uh, I said, I love you too, Sister. So that was a great memory. I loved our Adoration Chapel when uh, Father Costello built the Adoration Chapel, I loved being able to go there and make holy hours. I would do that so often in my high school time and college years. That was a place that was a, a place of refuge for me, especially when I was getting a little bit off course before I went into the seminary. I could always go to the Adoration Chapel and pray. Uh, grade school was wonderful there. Such, uh, such good experiences with all my teachers and students. Uh, I, I, I was telling somebody the other day that my grade school friends, like I look forward to a grade school reunion more than a high school reunion because we spent all of our time together. We played sports together. We'd go to mass together. So the Danks would be sitting in the front pew every mass at, uh, at the noon mass or 1130, whatever it was back then at Holy Family. And you could look over and see the Dolans and the Furlins and everybody was there. So it really was a family. It was a, a wonderful family for me. Love the festivals. Those were just great memories and great times. And every time I pull into the parking lot at Holy Family, I feel home. I feel home there. So I just want to thank all of you parishioners that have over the years really made this the place that it is and made it the home that it is. And I want to wish you a special 150th anniversary of celebrations and uh, I just I look forward to seeing you there I'll be with you at the celebrations in October and I'm eternally grateful anytime I get to come back home and be with you uh, is wonderful and it will always be my home so I'm, I'm very delighted and honored and glad to be a son of the parish at Holy Family